guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Bukola Naturals and DIY so in today's video I will be showing you um, how to make um, a homemade hair mask so I'll be using banana um, Greek yogurt you can use a plain yogurt um, coconut oil and um, some essential oils so I'll be using peppermint um, clary sage and sandalwood um, essential oils so bananas are rich in um, potassium as you can see I'm using this overripe banana you can use you can use um, any banana okay so I'm just using the overripe one because it's much easier to work on um, so bananas are rich in potassium and natural oils and um, they contain silica which strengthens the hair and prevents thinning and it also makes the hair thicker so in this recipe I will be using yogurt as I told you earlier which contains antifungal and antibacterial properties which helps um, uh, which helps soothe the scalp moisturizes the hair and also makes it shiny okay so I'll be adding a coconut oil as well, which contains a lot of beneficial properties. Coconut oil replenishes the hair and adds volume to it, okay? And coconut oil easily penetrates into the hair. So coconut oil is a very good oil for natural hair. It's, uh, it also adds volume to the hair, it moisturizes it and also helps to seal in moisture. So as I told you, I'll be adding a few drops of essential oil, oils, which contain anti-inflammatory uh, properties they improve the ability of the scalp to retain moisture and they con they contain um clary sage contain and um peppermint oil contain um anti-dandruff properties so they are really good for dry hair okay okay so i'm gonna work with this beaker right here so you can use any container of your choice of your choice just want to sanitize the things out okay so I'm going to start with the coconut oil because it's going to need you know it's going to need some time to melt so I'm going to put it in a water bath but I'm going to first so I'm going to put it in a water bath that's why I need to first melt it you can also use fractionated coconut oil if you want okay so I just preferred to you know to use this so let me put it I'm gonna put it in here and melt it in a water bath so I'll be putting like three tablespoons of coconut oil okay so I'm gonna melt it in a water bath warm water I'm just gonna put it in here to melt I'll be using an immersion blender, a stick blender, you know, to you know to mash everything. So I'm just gonna let me just go ahead and put my yogurt. I'll be putting two tablespoons of let me clean the spoon. So I'll be adding five drops of the peppermint oil, five drops. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque. One, two, three, four, five. Um, smell. I love it. Very safe as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
so I'm still waiting for my um, for my coconut oil it's not yet it's not melted 100% wait a bit in the meantime I'm gonna stir this one together so I want to use this for my daughter's hair she's got so much hair and I'm even thinking would this be enough for her hair <laughs> because she's got so much hair so if you want to teach her you can work with this simple recipe this simple Emma's recipe Okay, let me put this on the fire so it quickens the eating. Okay, so guys, our coconut oil has completely melted, but it's still hot. So I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna take it off from the hot water, and I'm gonna put um cold water in here to quicken the cool. Uh, the cool down process so I'm gonna put my coconut oil here to go you know to fasten the cool down process because I've got essential oil in here which is sensitive to it and I don't want to add anything hot into it because it might affect the work the job of the essential oils okay so I'm going to I'm going to have to wait. Okay. Okay. So now that my coconut oil is ready, I'm going to pour it in here. Okay. And I'm going to take it away from here. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is to use my is to use my stick blender. I'm going to use my stick blender to to homogenize everything together okay guys so now I'm gonna put it in here you see how creamy it is and it also smells good okay so this is our um, mask our banana yogurt and coconut oil mask and um, now I'm gonna apply it on my daughter's hair and I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes okay so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna apply it on her hair okay wish I could get through to you don't know what I do to you anything I say will come off it's wrong and you're not alone Something feels out of place, but you have no town It's like we want the same things, but the lines we've drawn are too parallel I can't sleep when you're not talking to me Got me suffering in silence So guys, I'll be washing your hair with um, the shampoo that I made myself the deep conditioner and I'll be styling her hair with this leave-in conditioner I did them myself so if you want videos on how you can make leave-in conditioners shampoos and rinse out conditioners at home by yourself just subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing a lot of DIYs okay so I'm gonna wash her hair right now I'm not gonna do a video of how I'm washing her hair so I'm just, gonna sh I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna style her hair later maybe I'll I will be dividing this video into two and um, maybe the styling video will be in the next video okay so I just washed her hair and um, as you can see I don't know if the camera is doing justice to this her hair is so shiny and I've not added it I've not added the moisturizer so I did condition her hair as well um, because I took down a braid and you know I had to that's why I had I used the hair mask and um, so this is how our hair looks after um, after the after washing it so I'm gonna put the leave-in conditioner as well you know to condition the hair and also use oil but I'll be styling her hair and I will posting that in another video so I'm just gonna show you our hair after adding the leave-in conditioner 
which I made myself. I make the living conditioner. I made this. So I'm going to be posting videos, DIY videos on how to make your living conditioner for Norma and all that. Okay? So, andiamo. <laughs> So that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching so what i did now is just to apply the uh, leave-in conditioner on our hair so kindly subscribe for more videos because i'll be uploading videos on how, how you can make your homemade shampoo conditioner moisturizer so um that's it for today's video so after moisturizing our hair i'll be styling it which i'll be uploading in another video so thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos grazie bye ciao how you feel some type of way, girl